Alright everyone and welcome back to another episode of the F123 Drive Recruitment with Alpine. This is episode number 55 today for the British Grand Prix of Season 4. If you missed the previous episode uploaded on Saturday, I recommend going to check them out at Austria before seeing this one. Because, spoiler, it's our first race win of the season and that moves us into third place in the championship. Although I did say that we could catch Piastri in that episode... Yeah, now looking at it, it's probably not going to happen. But um, Albon is probably a big target. P2 as well it could be a good way to round off this season. We're go we are looking at a minor brakes upgrade as well to try and improve the Sashi as well. So that's going to come on, hopefully in time for the Belgian Grand Prix. Haas, major upgrades for them for the first time this season. Puts them in front of Alfa Romeo and Williams, I think they were behind. So, you know, but those teams are at the back scrangling around for some very desperate points. McLaren moved back in front of Aston Martin in the r and as well. Red Bull um, have been caught by Mercedes with an upgrade as well. But yeah, nothing for us, unfortunately. Um, obviously, we're at the coming towards the end and we're starting to really max out this car now. Um, as well, we've only got few upgrades left so you know only time time will um give us depending on um excuse me on how good this car will be maxed out that will be the thing to tell well first lap um well i say first lap um yes you can see here we're in the earlier part of qualifying and i'll get to that shortly but let's talk me through this fastest lap which happened at this point we're in P8, we're still behind poor share at this point, um, as well as we go down the straight. We, um, this, the setups that I've got are catered towards high end speed, so in theory we should be able to, um, might be slow in the corners, but we will be very good on the straights in the race. As well as we come down the old start finish straight as well, this has always been an area there through cops, um, as well, a corner that... I think the AI are a lot better here, and then through Magnus and Beckett's, it's not the best corner for me on this on on the calendar. You, um, especially on this year's game, and I well I'll say on F123, I should say, but um, yeah, I'm hoping it feels a lot better on F124. We are three tenths up on our previous best time, which was a banker on that one. Um, as well as we've fallen behind Lawson and Leclerc, so I'm hoping to close that gap to poor share to come through into the final couple of corners. Then try not to hit the two curves, otherwise you the big red sausage curves, otherwise you will lose time. And up up the line, it's a five tenth of room, and it's in a 124 dead. I uh, couldn't improve on that. Basically, um, the fact of the matter is is that um, as we came through the final couple of corners, we were a tenth down on our previous best time. The second set of tyres, even though they were less worn, just didn't give me the performance I needed. And we're a tenth and a half loss. So, yeah, very disappointing. And it's only P12. I think that their race pace is a bit better, but I was hoping for a bit better. Um, hoping for a top 10 slot after our victory in Austria, but it's only P12s, which is very disappointing. So we'll have to see what we can do from uh, 12th place on the grid, though. It's time for the race. It's time for the British Grand Prix. So here we are down on the grid. Race strategy is, as ever, a one-stop. Um, yeah, think about going medium soft. Potentially see how, how we get on with that. Um, 
as well, potentially, although yeah, it's only a fraction slower according to the delta, so I think that's potentially what we're going to do. Uh, people around us are on soft though, so we'll see how that falls out. As far as the lights are eventually out, and away we go. It's actually a good start, much better than Porsche, um, as well, and much better than both of the Ferraris struggling to get off the line as we almost go into the back of Alex Albon there in the McLaren car. Um, but we have had a good start, we're up to P8, so yeah, here's what happened with the, uh, Sainz there, both of them just getting, both Ferrari, Sainz and Ocon, just getting, not getting away at all off the line, um, as well, and Sainz actually blocked off his teammate to allow to breathe, now Sainz is having to go at us, through Magnus and Beckett, side by side almost, uh, Sainz has got the inside there, but we have came the position for now, and retained P8, He's replay on board then, Sainz had a much better exit out of Cops, down towards Max and Beckett, oh so close to race ending contact, uh, as he goes over that, almost make contact with that soft red sausage curve, um, but yeah, as well, here's a replay off board, um, just to see how it was, and as I say, Sainz, if it hit that sausage curve, there probably would have been contact, and it might have been game over there already, up the road though, it's Albon against Perez, um, as well, and um, Albon is starting to suffer with that poor qualifying for him as Perez gave, gets to, keeps the position for now. And Albon is trying something else. Albon again having another go, another go at lap two, but of course we've caught up to him as well. So we kind of have a look can we get past either Perez or Albon here up through, <laughs> excuse me, through the final corners? We can't. I'd like to be Albon, you know, to, to just claw that gap back, that 20 point deficit as well, De Vries having a go now at Carlos Sainz, this is for P9, so De Vries, he's had a good run of form lately after being mediocre for many seasons um, as well, but now, can Albon finally get past um, Sergio Perez no he can't, and again frustration start to show, surely, for Albon that he's stuck behind the Red Bull and now they're going side by side through Cops um, and there is no way for me to get involved because it is just a complete and utter roadblock as they're tuck, almost wheel banging side by side through Magnus and Beckett. Perez has the better exit. Uh, we and Albon have DRS and now we're going to strike. Get Albon and get Perez as well at the same time. It's a two and one move as well as we get a warning with collision as Albon. We had to take a little bit of avoiding action to move, to avoid Albon there as he came out there at the same time we were making our move um, as well but we have made the move on Sergio Perez and Albon is finally he's had enough he's down the inside at the, at the penultimate corner and he's finally in front of Perez but he has lost a position to me Perez has lost tw two positions um, as well up the front though it is Oscar Piastri who's currently in charge ahead of Lando Norris his former teammate in this series um, as well Piastri of course um, he's doing that thing where he wins every other race this season so um, yes uh, he, he didn't win last time out in Austria so I'm sure he's got, probably going to win today as we We've got Albon going past, and we've, that McLaren is some is something else. I don't think we have the pace to be Oh, If we have the pace, you just got to keep with him. Um, we got the DRS straight, um, the, the, you know, the pace of the DRS and the engine pace. It's just through the corners that we're just struggling a little bit with this car. And that is to breeze past Perez as well. So Perez is falling away. Um, in this race, might fall in behind the Ferraris who haven't uh, been the bet at their best. As that's Norris uh, going once again side by side with Oscar Piastri for the race lead into the penultimate corners, but Piastri will have the inside line, and sorely Norris will have to yield. Yes, he does. Um, and Piastri retains the lead as Albon having a go as again with DRS. We're able to keep ahead of him now, but we are losing time to the top four. Um, so I'm trying to catch up to Max Verstappen, who's next up. We are, make, we are. I think we'll, we can work with Albon here. Um, worry about Albon in the later in the race and try and catch Verstappen and the top four. Um, because as soon as we catch, as soon as he gets stuck in that top four train, that's when we can look at him. But we've got to worry about Nick De Vries. He's on the soft tyres. We he tries to have a go with us through Magnus and Beckett. So absolutely none of that. Um, and these tyres, 
a little bit iffy I'm not gonna lie um, as well as that's Teo Porsche after his poor start he has finally got past Carlos Sainz Ocon as the Ferraris by the way have swapped places so Ocon is now the lead Ferrari Ferrari need to be careful that they don't drop behind Djokovic as well um, we know their tire wear isn't the best but you know obviously they do need to make improvements in that Albon now finally caught up to Max Verstappen and unlike Perez he's going to get past first time um, swooping right around the outside we're going to try and capitalise on that but quickly by getting uh, Verstappen as well and keeping with Alex Albon um, and it's a comfortable move up at the front though um, and that's Piastri and actual fact Russell has got past his teammate as well Russell on the soft tyres of course compared to everyone else on the mediums in the top four battle but Russell is now the lead Mercedes car not Norris as well as we're watching um, I think that's De Vries on his compatriot down the inside at Cops. can he make this move work on Verstappen no he can't we've caught back up to Alex Albon and we're gonna go through around the outside of DRS and retain and get back up and get into P5 as well and that is Taya Porsche he has lost a bit of his front end plate um, but he's about time to come in anyway, so it shouldn't really affect him um, as well. Um, yeah, but obviously it's going to drop him um, at the performance. And that's Drogovic going slowly. Again, Drogovic is retiring for one of these races. And the full reliability in that engine is shocking as well. Jump to lap 11. Um, as well, Albon's going to come back at us, and we're not we're not really going to fight this. We're just going to save a bit of ERS um, and try and catch up to the likes of not well. Norris is now being overtaken by Sonoda, and um, that's what we're going to try and do by leapfrogging each other with DRS. Um, but obviously, Albon is not helping us um, as well by battling left, literally left, right, and centre. Um, well, we are actually calling out to Norris. Norris surely out of damage because Sonoda is 5.9 in front, which is similar to, the, um, to what we had as well. And there's a bit of a twitch there for Albon. And that's on the... Well, we were made, out, losing out to Albon. Uh, Sonoda and Piastri are in for their stops onto a set of hard tyres for the range of the Grand Prix. We're going to come in a lap later. Um, as well, we don't lead the, our home race. Um, as well, we just about get it slowed down in time. It's a slow pit lane. This is one of the worst pit lanes on the F1 calendar here. The MGH and the turbocharger, by the way, they're a bit warm for this race. I didn't spot it before. I only spotted it in qualifying, basically. Um, so yeah, this will be the last time that we those we see those components, other than their practice session. But we have jumped. Alex Albon in the pits. That was crucial. We couldn't, you know, we're moving to soft tyres. He's gone to hards for the remaining 11 laps, you know, and he's done more laps on mediums and hards. Again, don't ask, don't ask. Porsche, great recovery from Taya Porsche. Um, he's up to P9 as Albon now is going to carry on where we were before the pit stops. Uh, we're trying to catch up to Norris. Um, as well, we've met, got left a few cars go through. Mostly Norris, Verstappen, and De Vries have gone th past us with the latest start with the undercut. As well as a replay, though, with of that move we just saw. And well, we had to die down the inside to make the move. We can't be stuck by an album, especially if his hards aren't going to fire up through the first sector. And we just got to hope that he, we can just get past this lot as soon as possible. Start with Lando Norris, she surely has a damaged car. Purple first sector um, as well. And Norris has just got absolutely no pace whatsoever. I mean, easily around the outside of Brooklands. And surely that Mercedes there is a damage. He's got some sort of damage, um, whether it's winged up. It, doesn't, it looks like it's got an attack wing. Maybe it's floor damage or something that's really just hampering Lando there. And the man who took pole position is now down well he's dropped behind Albon as well um, who knows how many bit more positions he's going to blast as we're going to blast past Max Verstappen around the outside yeah it's just about get that move done a bit iffy on the exit there but um, we are going to get it done move up another position 
as well. And um, Albon's just following me through at this point um, as well. He has a go now at Verstappen. Um, Verstappen, who's not had the best of season, he's not been on the podium, um, unlike his real life self, you know, where he's been dominating for years. Um, yeah, he, but that he has slowed down Albon, so he's out of the ERS range. We're trying to now get past Nick De Vries. Um, he's up on P4, having another good race, but we are going to blast past Nick and get P4. Meanwhile, uh, George Russell does lead this race then, but how long can those medium tyres um, hold out? Piastri is closing in on those hard tyres, which are less worn. And yes, uh, speaking of uh, less worn tyres, it's the same for De Vries. His medium is surely worn out and now Al wanted Breeze's pass as well with DRS. Question is, how long can our mediums pass? And uh, Piastri, well, you know, McLaren have the fastest car at the moment, and Piastri is going to carry on dominating this season by winning every other race and getting past Russell and taking the lead away. Um, and they are quite some way away. We are just defending against Al Wan. There is no chance of a podium today. So, yes, the battle is with Al Wan. Um, and this is for to take one point out of him. Yes, I know. Tyres are starting to go on the front, to so be on the 25% cut-off point. Um, so, yes, he has a go as at, uh, at uh, again, through that final, final corner. As he now has a go. He's overtaken us, excuse me, through Magnus and Beckett's. But we'll have DRS. This is where I think our car is a bit stronger. I think potentially with... No, I'm, I'm going to say that the, even with the worn units, we should be able to try and get past him. We can't actually get past him though with DRS, he must have deployed some battery. So we're going to wait until lap 25 to try and make this move. Mainly those parts are now starting to limit our capability, but early we were able to blast past. Here we're not really able to do. So we're going to have a dive down inside the penultimate corner. We made the move done, we've given room on the, to the inside of that penultimate corner. We've done it and we're up back up to P4. Here's a replay. That was one hell of a dive bomb. We just absolutely sent it there to ensure we got that move back. And on the penultimate lap, onto the final lap, we have P4 ahead of Alex Albon. His replay ball with Albon then. Um, yeah, he had to, he did have to step out of that, that turn. But at least he saw us coming um, and didn't swipe us off. As well now we're now having a go at turn one absolutely not um yes so yeah can albert can we ever got enough though we're going to use all the battery got left and if we've got any of those soft tires left os piastri does we continue that streak of winning every other race in this season and um, we're going to come through then for p4 albon isn't going to be close enough as you come through the final corner in just a moment and across the line the P4, which after the disappointment of qualifying, I will take, but you know, considering where we were in Austria and how good we were in Austria, it's a little bit of a setback with the car, um, you know, and I don't know how we can improve because, yeah, I mean, we still got some brakes upgrades and some tyre wear upgrades to do on the chassis side, but the aero we're maxed out. You know, so I'm not entirely sure where we can improve. Fastest lap, we're there or thereabouts. So I think, you know, it's just about pace consistency and trying better qualifiers, really. But then that's been a problem, a weakness of mine, unfortunately. Porsche, very good after he had to change the wing, um, picking up P9 in the end. So we're still in third, um, but 54 points behind Piastri now. I mean, Alex Albon is second because and he hasn't won a race this season. So, I'm I'm sure that Albon will try and win a race at some point. You know, probably one one of the every other races when Piastri doesn't. Constructors, um, yeah, a little bit disappointing. Obviously, Porsche having that front wing damage. So Mercedes are only nine points behind. Aston are there or thereabouts as well. And there's a bit of a gap to Red Bull and Ferrari who's squabbling for fifth place, which is not where they want to be, really. Um, as well, but yes, and we've got to watch out the constructors as well because obviously Russell, Sonoda um, are in good form as well. We're hoping that you know 
in the, oh, sorry, in our driver's quest, excuse me, then we can just close that gap on Albon and not have to worry behind us. But I have a f sneaky feeling that, you know, Sonoda and Russell are literally right there. We need to keep an eye on those two. And I think this is going to be a bit of a battle for the runners up spot um, as well. The next episode will be out later in the week at the French Grand Prix. Not a great track for me, I'm not going to lie, Paul Ricard. Um, but Belgium and Italy are two very good tracks for me. We'll be targeting, I'm hoping, a return to the podium there um, and get the Italian double as well. But yes, that's where I'm going to leave it for today's video. If you have enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe if you're new to the channel. See plenty more F123 and F124 driver camera videos as when they come out. Until the next video then, I'll see you next time. Take care, thanks so much for watching, enjoy your day and goodbye.